The resource curses where countries who've relied on extracting natural resources have done worse than countries who have not relied on those sorts of resources. It's had a negative effect both in terms of the economy but also in terms of the political systems as well. In theory, countries who have resources, assets under the ground, should essentially be richer than countries who don't have those assets. And that should increase investment, increase income, increase savings, so you move into a, into a virtuous circle. Uh, but the reality is that a lot of countries have not managed that. Examples include cases like Nigeria, perhaps also the Middle Eastern countries in terms of how they're politically governed, not so much how they're economically performing. There's other low-income countries that have had mining industries for quite a number of years, sometimes decades, but um, the Human Development Index, for example, has not been improved. Countries that have managed to avoid resource curse include countries like Chile, Botswana, uh, Indonesia and Malaysia and they managed to succeed because they had a reasonably dynamic private sector to invest the revenue. That is to some extent down to luck which is not a very satisfactory answer because it's not particularly amenable to policy. How do you get lucky? The big problem is when the revenues accrue to the government and the government then does things with the revenue that are not particularly useful for the economy. There are arguments when you look at countries over a longer period of time, and that includes the USA, the UK, Australia perhaps, that over a longer period of time extracting natural resources hasn't been a curse. And there are some modern examples too of countries that haven't done poorly out of uh, relying on, on natural resources. But the next lesson to be learned is what you actually do with that revenue. The temptation is, for poor countries, is to consume it, increase consumption, whereas what they really need to do is to invest it. However, if you're a poor country, it's difficult to argue to your population, you have to wait for the benefits because we have to invest it first, and that is the political problem associated with resource curse and how it's managed. There is a sort of consensus around the resource curse that if countries have good institutions and good governance in place, that is somewhat a cure against this risk of resource curse. If we focus on the diversification of economies on the back of extractive industries, it doesn't so much matter what happens in the sector, but it matters what happens around the sector, how the extractives can support diversification and structural change. What countries and governments need to do is they need to have a discussion and a dialogue internally to decide how are they going to manage these revenues.